What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So I've been using this deck for a while now and the reason why I haven't uploaded a video up until now is because I've been winning too much with it. So what I mean by that is when I made this deck probably like a week ago, um, I peaked at my square MMR and then finding matchups is much harder just because uh, I was at over 2500 MMR and nobody was queuing at that MMR range. So it just, it took a while to uh, find games. So basically, the gameplay that I'm going to have for you guys today with this deck is going to be like one game from like four different streams or like three different streams. So, uh, yeah, I, I've played enough of this deck over a couple different streams to finally have an enough gameplay for this video. So I'm excited to do it. Um, I've been playing this deck a lot. It is what I used to peak with Squirtle. I'm at like 25, 35 right now, I think, with this deck. Um, so... From my uh, standpoint, it is the best Squirtle deck, um, but obviously <clears throat> there are a number of different factor factors that contribute to that, so maybe that's not the case. Um, but basically, the idea of the deck is it is a Fran Gord deck. Uh, Gord, every time you play a special card, it increases the boost. The idea is it's similar to like a normal Fran deck, but you have the added benefit of having a Gord finisher, which is really nice as a lot of people don't uh, suspect it in round three. On top of that, you do play a good chunk of removal, which is not bad, especially because there are other Francesca players right now in this meta. Um, I'll run through the list pretty quickly. Um, the last time I uploaded a Gord deck to YouTube, it was a Shoop Gord. Problem is, Shoop Gord's not really great anymore just because, yeah, you can't lead her into muzzle anymore. Um, you kind of need that consistency, especially because of poison. Uh, this deck doesn't run any tall removal other than Heat Wave, uh, and I'm not really going to play Curse of Corruption. So poison's just pretty good this patch, uh, especially with Weeping Willow. So let's dive right into it. Leader, obviously, so you can play uh, another special again. Typically, the special that I play again is going to be either Water or Justice. Um, yeah. You could play Call. The scenario where you play Call is going to be something like you're in round three and you still have Skags in your deck and you need five removal. Or uh, you have an odd amount of poison in hand and you need to poison kill something and you can call a poison out of your deck. Other than that, you're most of the time going to be using uh, Justice or Water. Vigo Muzzle. Uh, it's The funny thing is when I built this deck, uh, I actually had like 15p left over when I built the entire thing with 25 cards in it uh so i had to put in the high-end specials kind of hoping next expansion uh that we're gonna get another square tail special which can replace like muzzle or heat wave uh, but until then you kind of have to play these high specials just because there aren't really high units you want to play you could in theory play something like oak but i like bleeding with this deck uh depending on my hand in round two sometimes i don't uh but yeah you typically don't have a super wide board especially when you're playing specials right Oak isn't generally very good if you're playing a bunch of removal specials just because you're not putting units on the board. Um, but yeah, Muzzle is just a solid special. It's not incredible. It's just average, and average is good enough for this deck. Water is obviously very good. Justice is very good. I should mention there's no Muscle in this deck. Typically, when you play Justice, you play it for Muscle. Um, I'm not running Muscle just because I don't have room for it. My fives are special removal and poison, and Muscle doesn't do any of these better uh so actually my justice is marauder which seems really bizarre because the second one that you spawn out doesn't get vitality it doesn't really matter uh the first one is a four and then the next one gets vitality or i guess the first one gets vitality and the second one doesn't um but it's still a 10 for 10 instead of muscle which is 10 for 10 the scenario where muscle is better is against sk because of random pings from like uh marauder or like lippy um Sorry, Hound Snout. But not a lot of people are playing SK right now, so that's not really relevant. Um, there's not a lot of Pavetta on ladder in uh, Northern Realm. So, yeah, I don't think you have to run the Muscle. The Mar uh, Marauder is just easier to run. Uh, it's also nice because if you do play Justice and then you have a Marauder in hand, it'll immediately activate the Marauder, which is nice. Sometimes I'll even go as far as uh, Justice Marauder into Leader Justice Marauder. Uh, this means the second one you play will go up to the uh, four Vitality, which is kind of nice. Do be careful of Muzzle. Most people don't play Muzzle, but do keep that in mind. Um, Ithlin. So we are running Skags in this deck. Um, typically, I'm not a huge fan of Ithlin Skags, but in this deck it's okay, just because the way I see it, um, 
If you don't draw skags, you can always call it, which isn't bad. And agitators have a second target. Typically, agitators are only for skags. Uh, but we have Gord, and Gord is a dwarf. So uh, ideally, you draw either Gord or skags in your round one, and you can put the agitators on it. Uh, if then, obviously, you want to save for skags. But if you're pushing round one or you're getting pushed in round one, uh, and you need to play Ithlin and you have Gord, feel free to play it on Gord. Um, typically, Gord's going to be your final play, and typically, you're going to have last say. So you're not really worried about tall removal, so having an extra 4, 6, 8 strength Gord is not bad. In some cases, it's really good. Uh, Heat Wave is just a nice removal, nice flexible removal. If your opponent plays Summoning Circle, you can remove it, which is really nice. Call the Force, uh, good consistency, helps you find that Ithlin, Skags, and Fav. Uh, if I have Skags in my opening hand and I have Call, I almost always call Ithlin just so that I can uh, boost up that Skags. Skags, obviously very good with any kind of uh, hand buffs, which we are running a few of. Fav, consistency is nice. Yeah. Uh, Willow is really good with Poison. Gord is kind of the finisher of this deck, I will say. Basically, you always want to win round one with this deck. Um, feel free to play everything. Like, literally everything in the deck you can play in round one, uh, with the exception of Gord. Gord, you don't really want to play in round one because uh, it doesn't get much value in round one. The The value comes from playing it towards the end of the game uh, because you play a lot of specials by then. Uh, and don't play your leader in round one, obviously. So save your leader, save Gord. Everything else is on the table to play. Runestone, it's a special. There aren't really better specials that are five... Um, it is important that you have exactly 13 units. Um, obviously, you can't go below that. If you were to cut a unit and put in a special, it doesn't work, right? So you have to have a minimum amount of units in your deck, uh, this being 13. So 12 specials is what you're going for, just because the more specials you have, the more chances that you draw a special, and the bigger the gourd is going to be. So Runestone, I suppose you could replace, like, with another bomb or shackles, but I like it. Sometimes it rolls a trap, which is quite good. Sometimes it rolls another poison, which can be useful. I like it. I think it's fine. Thunder removal, northern wind removal. Um, if you're queuing a lot of NR and you're not seeing a lot of Nilfgaard or Syndicate, you can drop this for the other bomb. Uh, you could run one and one. Doesn't really matter. Poison, poison, because poison's good. Uh, Dryad's Crest is nice because it's 4P and it's a special, uh, which is quite good. Like, really good. It's a playable 4P special that doesn't suck. Uh, if you're going to play another special, you'd play something like Spores, which can brick. Uh, Samum's not great. Uh, and the nice thing about it, it, it is Purify. Purify's pretty good in this meta. We got Vampires with Bleeding. We got Syndicate with Bounty. We got SK with, like, a little bit of Bleed, right? So, like, you, you typically find a decent amount of value. Worst case scenario, it's a 3, which, yeah, it doesn't sound great, but not that hard. There's a lot of dry edge in this deck, so the odds of you not getting Vitality is pretty low. Um, it also means Fav can't brick, right? If you're playing two of these and Call and Water, your Fav should never brick. If your Fav bricks, you weren't paying attention to Mulligans. Um, so that's kind of nice. If you draw the Water and you draw the Call, you don't have to t uh, Mulligan them uh, back into your deck, which you typically would have to do, so that's kind of nice. Marauders is going to be your go-to for Justice. Um, always Mulligan these cards away. You never want them in your hand. Um, because if you're playing Justice twice, you're going to need these in your deck. Agitators, obviously, are going to be for either Gord or for Skags. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Game plan is win round one at all costs, basically. Um, the exception would be... No, nope, you, you need to win round one. Yeah, uh, but that's not that hard to do. Typically, you're going to have uh, water or access to water. The odds of drawing water, I don't know the exact number, but you have water, you have fob, and you have call. You have three different cards to get access to that water. Uh, and you have good tempo with poison. Poison will help you secure the round if they TA something or they play some large units. Um, and lots of removal for engines. So yeah, once again, feel free to play any cards other than your leader and gourd in round one. Uh, win round one. Bleeding round two is kind of hard just because... You have a lot of removal. The scenarios where I would bleed in round two would be something like you have Justice, right? If you're playing against a deck that likes really long rounds, I might even do like Justice Leader Justice in round, like beginning of round two. Just smash a bunch of points on the board. Your opponent plays an engine. You kill it with something like Thunder. They play another card. You play another card and then you pass. Something like that. Um, but otherwise, if it's like, if you have a few cards, like three or four cards, uh, because you went really deep into round one, probably not going to be pushing, unless, of course, you did just draw justice or something. So, unless you have justice or water in round two, I don't think I would suggest bleeding, just because 
There's not a lot of big tempo plays outside of those two cards. Uh, I guess the other exception would be like Fav into Call into Ithlin or something. That's decent, right? That's a nine point play if you have like a Skag in your hand. That, that's okay. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you probably aren't going to be bleeding round two. Uh, and then round three, you're going to remove everything and then you're going to play Gordon and win the game. Um, yeah. Typically, you want to save your water towards the end of the round. You play, like, water into Dwarf. There aren't too many Harmony ticks in this deck, but honestly, you don't really have better specials to be playing, right? Like, if you could play Garrison instead of water, you probably would, except you can't leader Garrison, so that's obviously an issue. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get too much more into it. I, I think I've covered most of the uh, ways you're going to be playing the deck. I have a bunch of gameplay. This is, like, 25 to 20... Yeah, 25 to 25, 30 MMR. Um, yeah, I think it's a fun deck. If you're looking for a Gord deck, this is going to be the list you should try. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. And I probably will not be seeing you guys for a while. I am going to Challenger tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I will be away from my computer for a bit. So I can't make any YouTube videos. So uh, no YouTube videos for like a week. Yeah, it's just a heads up. So without further ado, let's hop right into the gameplay. My folk have suffered much. Wonder what variant he's running. Okay, I'm okay with this. Francesca, it's a gore deck. It's a gore deck I made off stream the other day, and I peaked with it. I think it's pretty good. Probably a, uh, yeah. It's like a dwarf deck. Would you like to be a dwarf? No, I'm good. Can you show the gore deck? Um, after the game, sure. He's pretty short already? Okay, sure. I mean, I'm not, but yeah. I think I want to play this for poison. Getting an extra two is pretty significant. Not gonna do it. I don't know. I don't mind playing this next turn for shield. It's worth eight. Not terrible. I'd rather him just pass here. Because I don't really want to play either of these. You should have been done. Yeah, kinda need to kill that. Free carryover is gonna punish me. Why are you guys all in this Regis should do this or that? Regis is fine. I've never run from no one, and I'm not about to start. Hmm. 
How come it, when I hover over you, it doesn't show card info? Because I haven't been added to the game yet. Oh, you pass. He would need an 11, but he can do 11 with justice. I need to respect that. I need to hope he has a gold card in hand and we force blow a gold. What? That's not a gold. <laughs> Ooh, well. mm. How's this deck doing? Uh, it's climbed the furthest so far with it, but it was off stream, not on stream. So, yeah, good hand. If anyone's got any hooch left. Oh, he's just going all in. Um, all right. You said you won't play this shit off stream? I never said that. The Gord deck, nothing wrong with Gord. Gord's balanced. Double chase. I need to roll a crushing trap. Thirteen. Ah, this is exactly twenty. Just play leader. It's fine. Right. Six plus thirteen. Twenty. Okay, it's fine. Oh, I'm considering like thinning, but it's not enough. Life is fleeting, yet life is eternal. No big lads are real deal, excluding the folk, of course. I don't know, we have a card up, we should be okay. My top decks are pretty good. I have Justice, Ithlin, Skag. I don't need to get greedy. I can play this for poison. It's square tall. They don't play tall units. I don't think I ever need the poison. Best deck to reach pro rank? Any deck that you can pilot well. I'm hoping he has any form of damage. That way he has to hit this and I get an extra tick on Willow. Syndicate is done? What do you mean? Like, am I done playing Syndicate for the day? I don't know. I'll just dabble with it here and there. 
We have a 10 in hand. We're getting two points off of this leader. This is plus two. This might be a big Skags. It's top deck though, so... And this got a buff, so it's still a three. Okay, we win. Okay. GG. Gory tier zero. It's really good. You still haven't told me how to say your name. Feels bad, man. Thank you for the host, sir. No skags. Okay. I'm very curious what he's playing. To play a cleaver deck, maybe double poison? Keo Duran? The simplest methods here with best results. I don't know if I want to play this. I don't know if he plays Flying Adanian. I'm not going to worry about it. I want to do this and then muzzle the other. He smashes TA on it, it's fine too. Been trying out a Brand Beast discard deck. Yeah, but Fominica is not enough to win. What? We'll help one. That deck got super nerfed. Why would I play that deck? It got super duper nerfed. The deck was like meme tier before. Now it's like super main meme tier. Uh, okay. We do want to win this round. I need last say. Otherwise, you can morales or like double poison my gourd, and that's a bad thing. So we do need to be semi aggressive this game. I really like the dwarf package because I can dump every all the boosts into Gord if I don't draw the cleaver, which is kind of cute. Vampire against Ardol, he bleed me in round one. I played goalie and he killed it. Tibor came out. I banished it with heat. This guy lost already. I thought at that moment I got one card down, but it's fine. In round two, I dry pass and my opponent plays bribery and he gets spear tip. And then he assired it back, I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah, bribery is a good card when you high roll. There's no reason to play Justice unless I think I'm going to push him, and I don't want to push him. When the white frost comes, do not eat the yellow snow. This isn't really a bleed deck. It doesn't, like, like, it can bleed, but... Ooh, these are good draws. What do I want? 
love skags. I don't even want skags. I just want poison. We have poison. I suppose I'm happy with this hand. Two, two. I guess I want five. Yeah, we can look for five. We played Royal Guard Hensel? What do you mean? I just played that for like an hour. You just missed it, mate. Sadie. You just missed it. You can go watch the VOD if you'd like. I'm very curious what his game plan is. Maybe he, well, he can't even play honor anymore. It's not shoop. Maybe it is just double poison. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We're looking for heat wave. That's it. Mm. Okay. We have Fav Call Dryad for the second, or the quad poison. I contemplated mulliganing Skag so I could call it, but my other mulligans were more pressing. Would you ever get into Arena? Eh, it's just, I'm not a huge fan of it. Maybe, maybe someday. Someday over the rainbow. Okay. I don't have any wide punish, but whatever. Discipline. It's the only way they learn. Okay. Shall turn against you. Trying to slam some Coors Light with me tonight? I don't really want to drink that. Not a big fan. What's more likely for Pumpkin, Arena, or Thronebreaker? Nine. The wild shall reclaim your fields. I want him to put another bounty on it. Me see big message, me no think, me pasta. Nah. Pasta, pasta. Copy pasta. Why pass? Why think when you can go face and pasta? Watch your poison Dana guy, and I'm reclimbing it fast from rank 3 to 2 and 6 matches. Yeah, it's a good deck. I think uh, the biggest problem with the deck is people are too stubborn. And they just assume Fran is better than Dana, so they never give it a shot. But once you give it a shot, you realize it's pretty good. The only reason I'm playing Fran now is because I want to play Gord. Gord doesn't really work well on Dana. So tired. 
Anyone can be bought. Only questions at what Nice shiny forehead you got there. Thanks, mate. I shined it just for you. You're welcome. Oh shit, he's going in. Big thick boy. <laughs> Pee. Chat, what do you guys think is the cutest fledgling? Or dryad? No way to draw your specials? Yeah, but most of my special specials are neutral, right? So like it doesn't actually matter. Bob? Really? My favorite is Ranger. I like this one the most. This is gonna hurt. Because he can play two tactics or two crimes in one turn. I think this one's the cutest. You guys like the fledglings? I think this is the least cute. Okay. Grovekeeper? Grovekeeper's good. Ouchie. Ouchie. Nice gags. Oi, we don't discriminate against small little boys, okay? Be nice. He has a family. Ranger, 100%. I like the athleticism of the ranger. Whereas all she's doing is just like try humping the log. Alright, let's see it. Big play. Oh, brawl? Okay. Sure. Eternal fire casts a long okay. We need to get these ticking. Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. It's only bad if he has muzzle, but nobody plays muzzle because that would be very silly. I ho. Also, uh, what's the what's the ping 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 card? I guess Philippa is problematic, but I don't mind too much because he only gets two ticks on the vitality. This is a 19. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. He actually kept it till the end. Ay, yeah, yeah. All right, we got a 19. He gets plus one on this. Okay, we win. No, no, no! A big boy coming through, choo choo! Wee! Very large lad. So I'm very curious what this guy's MMR is. Cry so. Twenty-four ninety. Okay. That's not bad. We do what must be done. You're not in Warsaw yet? I leave the eleventh. It's the ninth, so I leave in two days. <laughs> I can use Fob to pull out Crass. Not even that bad. Yeah. Is 
Was this your gourd deck? Yeah, it's my gourd deck. I think it's pretty good. You gonna go to one of CDPR's hotel? No, I ha I got an Airbnb. Stream from Warsaw. I don't know if the internet's gonna be good enough, and I don't have a good enough laptop. I don't really want to buy like a thousand dollar, twelve hundred dollar laptop. So I don't know. We'll see. I was trying your Gord deck yesterday and today, and haven't lost a game. Yeah, it's a really good deck. Say hi to Ben Brode. I don't think Ben Brode's gonna be a challenger. <laughs> sure, you can pet him, long as you don't Maybe. An arm. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Fresh controlled W for free stuff. New haircut? Yeah, I got a haircut yesterday. We're gonna have a lot of sevens, but I don't think I'm too worried. You don't see any difference? Well, it stops at my shoulders. Before I would go like two to three inches past my shoulders. You see? Someone linked the guard deck. I don't think they have a link, but I can show the deck after the game. Oh, it's a different trap. Azzy yeah. some with the six months. Thank you so much, mate. Welcome back. Thank you for all the support. Smile. Smile indeed. Squiatel. I haven't played Squiatel. Like last stream, I played like two games of Squiatel. I don't want to hear it. Because it's oh, hard to find matches at higher MMR. <laughs> Spader52 with the seven months. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Music is relaxing and good. Oh, he's... Wait. I don't know what this is. Some meme. Memes. Memes, 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 memes. I guess we go deeper. <laughs> I'm not worried about muzzle, because he can't really muzzle this. Kalmar's not an issue either. Nut isn't an uh, issue. I don't think he can kill this, unless he's like pro. Play Thornbreaker? Nah. Why do you wait so long for this? Meh. I mean, I guess you wait for Totem. It would have been nice to pop off. Um, I, I guess I can go a tiny bit deeper. Like, Willow isn't technically a round 3 card. I do want to win the round. I, I, I should always win this round. If I get blood, I'd be very sad. Borderlands stream this Friday? No, I don't... I One, I won't be here. I'll be in Warsaw. If I leave in two days. The Uh, and two, I never played the games in the past, so no reason to start now. The skag's really worth it. I feel like agitators are pretty terrible. Well, the idea is agitators have either gourd or skags, right? You have double flexibility. Both of them, you carry them over. So I think they're okay. They're not like the best card in the world, but you typically find skags or gourd in round one, and you can buff either up, so I think it's fine. 
Have you been to Poland before? No, only place I've been to outside of the US is Canada and Brazil. What do you call pancakes with potatoes in them? What? Nobody eats pancakes with potatoes. We have pancakes with like apples in them. I've never heard of pancakes with potatoes. How am I? I'm doing good. Did you enjoy your time in Brazil? Yeah, Brazil is fun. Um, you just need to <laughs> go to the right place. Hopefully not get mugged. I'm not bleeding with this hand. It's never happening. Amazon forest is nice in Brazil. I've, I haven't been to... I, I kind of wanted to, but it didn't happen. I'd like to draw Gord. I don't really want to call him out, but I'll do it if I have to. Nice. Don't want the, the Marauders. We want uh, Justice. Oh, it's nice. a different track. Really good. Man. Counts 184 with the seven months. Doot, doot, doot. Thanks, doot, mate. Doot, 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 indeed. Doot, doot, doot. Thank you so much for the seven months, mate. Don't really want to deal with that. I heard it's pretty lit lately. Uh-huh. So funny. Can you show me- Can I show you my deck? Yeah, sure. I'll take a look. Mm -hmm. Hey, someone find- found the Keck W emote. So what? <laughs> Benji cam? You guys want a Benji cam? <laughs> Dude, I remember when that video first came out and people started using it as a meme. Aw, oh, good times, good times, good shit. Good shit. <sighs> Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. Hmm. I don't know what I want to lead her. We'll see. Have you ever donated blood? Yeah, I've donated blood once. It was fine. Wasn't very exciting. You just go in and Ooh, it's a different donate track. your blood. <laughs> it's really straightforward. <laughs> Doctor Oatker with the ten months. Welcome back, mate. Thank you. Thank you guys for the subs. I don't know. I uh, I could just slam Gord. I suppose it's just so awkward. And like the question is, is do I play the Dryad Ranger here, kill this, and then use my leader for call on like Forest Whisper and go like for double poison? Like, eh. Or I just play Gord here and just bite the bullet. Hope he doesn't have muzzle. I hope. I hope. Why is Benji always chill? He's a good dog. He's a good pup. What? So it's Regis? Alright, whatever. Not getting any poison value. Uh, alright, let's take a look at this deck. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I honestly, I mean, I'm looking at the deck. I have no idea how to give you any kind of advice. King Demovin, Blue Dream, or Vernon, Sword. I don't know. Probably don't need Summoning Circle. Summoning Circle is not very good with uh, Vernon Roche. Moved to Taiwan, so can't watch your stream every day. Missed you so much. Oh, you moved to Taiwan? I thought about moving back to Taiwan. Okay. Do you eat? No. Never. Um, yeah, I, d I don't know what to tell you for the demo deck. Because I haven't... Okay, good. We're still peeking. Nice. Hoggers. 